good morning students today we are going to start our next exercise that is 6.4 this exercise is based upon all the identities between the algebraic expressions now let's discuss these four identities these four identities we have to use in this exercise first one is x plus a x plus b okay it is equal to x square plus a plus b whole multiply with x plus a into b second formula or identity is a plus b whole square that is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab third one is a minus b whole square that is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab last one is a plus b a minus b that is equal to a square minus b square so in the question number 1 and 2 we have to apply this one first identity okay x plus a x plus b it is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab so this is your first part y plus 3 multiply with y plus 5 okay so how we have to apply this identity you can see that y plus 3 y plus 5 this y and y these are same but this value constant in this first bracket and the value of constant in the other bracket both are different so for here we have to assume that our x is equal to y our x is equal to y and a is equal to 3 b is equal to 5 and we have to put this identity we have to apply this formula a plus x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab okay now leave this left hand side you have to open the value of the right hand side you have to put the value in the right hand side so what is your x square x is your y so x square will be y square what is your a plus b a plus b a is your 3 and b is your 5 so 3 plus 5 multiply with x x is your y y Plus a into b, a into b is three into five. Okay, now in the last step, y square plus three plus five eight into y plus three five is fifteen. This is your answer. Okay, so you have to you have to mention the identity which you are using in the question. Okay, and in the first step, you have to assume what is your x, what is your a, and what what is your b. After that, you have to solve. with the identity the next uh, i'm telling you the c part c part is x minus 8 x plus 2 b part is simple do by on so now c part is x minus 8 into x plus 2 so what is your x here x is your see the value of x is same x is your x a value is minus 8 and b value is your 2 okay whatever plus or minus is mentioned with the constant you have to mention as it is in the value of a and b now in the next step by using which identity same x plus a x plus b that is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab put the value of x square x is your x so it is x square plus put the value of a and b plus write down x here plus a into b minus 8 into 2 okay x square will be as it is minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6 multiply by x 8 to the 16 so minus 16 in the last step x square plus minus it will be minus 6x plus minus again minus 16 so this is the answer of c part now next part is part number e okay this is e part e part is there is a misprinting in the statement in the e part you have to mention 3p plus 1 and here x is given this is 3p 3p minus 5 okay so this is your statement of e part 3p plus 1 3p minus 5 now see you can you can check that it 3p is 3p is written here 3p is written here so this is the value of x and both are same now this is the value of a this is the value of b so you have to write in the very first step that 
x is 3p, a is 1 and b is minus 5. Now by using this identity, now you have to put the value in the right hand side. Okay, x square is 3p whole square plus a plus b, a plus b is a is 1, b is minus 5. Multiply with x, multiply with 3p plus a into b, 1 into minus 5. Okay, now this is 9 p whole square 3p whole square means 3 3 is a 9 and p square is p square plus 1 minus 5 is minus 4 into 3p plus 1 into 5 minus 5 now open the brackets 9p square plus minus it's minus 4 3 is a 12p plus minus 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 5 so this is the answer of e part now let's move to the question number 2 in the question number 2, the variables are not given in any part. All the uh, parts are given you in the form of constant. Okay. So, this is your first part. 53 into 55. So, first of all, you have to split the term. You have to write 53 as 50 plus 3 and 55 as 50 plus 5. Okay. Now, you have to apply the same formula. X plus A, X plus B. Because x value is same, a and b value is different. So, you have to apply this formula. Now, in the right hand side, you have to put the value according to the formula. x square is 50 whole square plus a plus b is 3 plus 5. x is 50. a into b is 3 into 5. Okay. Now, 50 whole square is 2500. 3 plus 5, 8 into 50 plus 15. 3 fives are 15. Now, Next step is 2500, 8 fives are 40 into 0, 400 plus 15. Now add all the value, answer will be equal to 2915. So in the second question, your answer will come in proper digits. Because in this uh, question, variables are not given. So you have to compute till the last step. Now I am going to solve part C. In part C, it is 103 multiplied by 96. So it is equal to, can I write 103 as 100 plus 3 and 96 as 100 minus 4? Okay, now x value is same, a and b value are different. So you have to write this identity, now put uh, the uh, values of the x square, a and b in the right hand side. So x is your 100 whole square plus a plus b value is 3, b value is minus 4 into 100 plus a value is 3, B value is minus 4. Okay, now open the squares. 100 square is 10,000, 3 minus 4 minus 1 into 100, 3 fours are minus 12, minus will come. Okay, now open the brackets and do subtraction. So I answer will be equal to 9, 8, 8, 8. So this is your C part and now D part is 97 into 95. That is equal to 90 plus 7, 90 plus 5. Now the value of x is same. A and b value are different. Again you have to apply this identity. Okay, now put the value in the right hand side. x square is 90 square. a plus b is 7 plus 5 into x is into 90. Plus a into b. a into b is 7 into 5. Okay, do multiplication here. 8100 will come, here 1080 will come and here 35 will be as it is. Now add all the values, your answer will be equal to 9215. So this is your D part. I have given only B part for the homework. B part is 34 into 36. That is equal to 30 plus 4 multiplied by 30 plus 6. Okay. And from the very first question, I have given you for the homework B part. Then I have given you D part and then F part. Okay. Whatever parts I have given you that are totally similar with the questions we have done. So in this lecture we have discussed question 1 and 2 based upon the identity number 1. That is X plus A X plus B. Which is equal to X square plus A plus B into X plus AB. Okay. These three properties. Next three identities we will discuss in question number 3 and 4. Okay, in the next lecture. So, 
today's homework is whatever parts i have given for the homework go for the practice in the practice notebook and then write down question number 1 and 2 in your fair notebook okay bye bye and take care all of you